evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Chopbox Studios. I'm your host, CJ, and today we've got some more mob psych. Last time we left off on episode five, which was an absolute banger of an episode, bro. We had this man go question mark, question mark, question mark, which we don't even know what the hell that is, or at least I don't know what it is. Another question that I have to ask myself is also, where did Dimple end up at? Like, is he actually gone? Is he dead for sure? I don't even know. Like, is he in another realm? I have no clue. So we'll see what happens with him. But as for now, Mob was sad because of the fact that he actually bugged out again. And my theory for what his problem is, is I, I feel like there's a spirit inside of him, like maybe an ancient spirit of some sort or something of that nature. And he doesn't know that. So that way, that's why when he gets um knocked out, I feel like he gets swapped out with that ancient spirit or whatever, maybe. But overall, you already know I'm enjoying this anime. I think it's one of the best ones that I've seen in a long while. It's very unique. It's got great animation. It's got comedy. It's got everything I want. It's just as good or better than One Punch. I'm not going to say either or, but I love them both. Without further ado, let's stop talking. Let's jump in. I'm hyped to get into some more Mob Psycho. I hope you guys are hyped too. And if you guys are hyped, make sure you leave a like, rate, comment, subscribe right now and absolutely punch the hell out of that bell notification stay notified for more mob cycle reactions in the future and with that said let's hop into this episode huh. uh, does he want psychic powers bro i feel like he does low-key i don't know also you have to apologize i have a sniffly nose today it's been running all day i don't know why Allergies. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, bro? He wants the a seance. This man's really doing a se- <laughs> I can never take Rygan seriously, bro. He's so over the top. Is that you, dad? <laughs> This guy, bro. <laughs> and the va the freaking voice. I almost said the vase. That shows you how tired I am. Logging out. <laughs> it's just to get more money. Like, if you want to continue, you got to pay me more. <laughs> Where's your father from? <laughs> New Jersey in America. <laughs> what the heck, bro? <laughs> this guy, bro. It's been so funny if like he just started talking English. <laughs> what the heck, bro? <laughs> Cheeseburger tornado. Who the heck is that? <laughs> Cheeseburger tornado. <laughs> This guy. You shitty old man? Damn. To the hidden safe? Jeez. So this guy's actually like a criminal. <laughs> Damn, bro. Get a, get a job, you bum. <laughs> Bro, that is hilarious. Yo, he freaking decked him. He uppercutted him mad hard. <laughs> and he did a spin like it was a freaking... I don't even know what it is. The freaking Haruken or, or the other one. I don't even know. Self-defense. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Don't say that. For real. 
For real, that's what I'm saying. Look at the bright side of things, bro. And everything he done, he never killed someone yet. He was able to rebuild the school and everything, so it's not like he's completely... Soda. Hmm. There's no way they're gonna tell Mob to be his their leader. Like that would be hilarious. Yep. Yes, sir. Man doesn't even know what happened because he wasn't freaking conscious. <laughs> this girl now. Here we go. See, she's talking about aliens, bro. This girl is over the top all the time. Ragan? <laughs> huh. <laughs> A day? He don't want that. He want that other girl, bro. He don't want your crazy ass. I like these, these bodybuilder guys. They're so, like, real, bro. They're the only real people in this freaking show. See? See, bro? See, bro? They are such good guys, bro. Oh, so they don't think he did it? <laughs> Damn, oh my god. That bald guy's always getting beat. <laughs> Little metal bag getting mad. They look like freaking. They look like you know what, bro. I'm not gonna say it, but it ends with Atsi. Delinquent. I forgot this guy's in the council. This guy just looks depressed though. Right here. Mm. See, he's such a good brother though. I, I can't stress that enough. Credentials. Awakening lab. Duh, bro. You know what happened last time when someone invited your brother to something? Look at- Nah, 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 nah. I would not trust this guy. He just look weird. <laughs> Ew, bro. He look like a rock star. Not a freaking... Bro, this girl. Loitering. Bro, not everything is school. That's true, though. In real life. <laughs> mm. True, that's facts, though. Damn. PTSD? Or what? <laughs> At least he's not passing out completely. Great. Now you got the drug addict here. He really thinks he's Kageyama. That's hilarious. I don't know, man. I don't know if you want to be there. It's either going to go very good for him or it's going to go very bad. 
An adult esper? Where? That guy looks menacing, at least for now. Watch him take off his hoodie and look freaking dumb as heck. Look at this girl, but she going ham on that freaking ice cream. What the heck? It's Steve from Minecraft on the right side. This kid with the long chin, bro. Get out of here. Okay, what's she do? Clairvoyance allow her to pick up the one correct card out of ten. Uh, okay, so it's like a chance type psychic. This guy looks interesting. Pyrokinesis. Come on, man. That would have been so cool if he can actually use pyrokinesis. And Steve from Minecraft, they're brothers. I want to see what Steve can do. Huh. Well, that's kind of lame. Hmm. But I'm not anyone special. <laughs> Jeez. That'd be crazy if he actually does get psychic powers. That'd be something. This depressed ass kid, bro. He need he needs some sleep and he needs some sun. Bro, shut up. I, that's what you. For real. For real, bro. Like, shut up, dude. You talk too much. Wait, what the heck? Does that kid sleep on garbage? Like, what the heck? That makes sense that he looks like that, then, I guess. Man, don't be differentiating your kids. That's how you create conflict between them. Oh, God. A recorder? What's wrong with this kid? Wait, he thinks he's Kageyama too? What? What? <laughs> Huh. What? Yeah, like, you don't have to throw away your life for this freaking bum. See? Bro, this guy, he going crazy now. He don't know what he want to do. What the heck? Did, they just did that on purpose and threw it around? What was, what's that all about, bro? 
<laughs> Train this guy now. Mm. Mm -hmm. See man, he's a good guy. See man, the buff boys are where it's at, bro. Wow, bro. He feels so guilty for that, too, because they were the ones that freaking did that. Huh. Oh, that's actually messed up, bro. Why? Why? What's the point of that? Why put it on him? For what? I don't get that. What did he do out of everyone? Wow, this guy's actually a scumbag. I was gonna feel bad for him because he's getting treated like crap, but he's actually a little biatch. What a freaking bomb, bro. Man. Wow, this guy is actually a little scumbag, bro. Wow. Yo, y'all are actually freaking so scummy for that. Hmm. Damn. I actually feel bad for him because that's actually messed up, bro. He didn't even do anything. Oh, great. That's actually messed up, though. This guy, bro. I don't know, man. I don't like that freaking ugly ass depressed guy, bro. ついでに手伝ってくれね。お断りします。兄たちは僕に特別な能力があるんです。あなたこそ霊能力者だって。自分で解決したらどうですか？影山が鍵を投げたって。意外とユーモアがあるんだな。彼でも俺が思うには、あ
What? Nah, there ain't no way this man got psychic. Oh, he could see Dimple and Dimple's back too. That means he is a psychic if he could see Dimple now. Because before he couldn't see him. That's crazy. Okay. So this guy, he, he has psychic powers now. He probably just had to do something like emotional like that to make him like awaken them maybe. And that's why he had to kind of like do that. Sorry, there was fuzz in my freaking way. That's probably why he had to do that anyways. Because of the fact that he had had something emotional happen. Almost like if you're awakened in a showering gun, but not as severe. Now, I, I gotta say though, I have to say, I don't even care how depressed you are, what scenario you're in. I don't like that freaking kid with the bags under his eye. I don't know his name, but the, the leader of the freaking whatever the heck student council. I hate him. I hate him because that is actually so scummy to be blaming that on someone else just because you're having your own issues and you want to take it out on someone else to make yourself feel better or make yourself feel more entertained about something. That's just not right to me, bro. Especially when you do it to someone that hasn't even done anything or didn't even deserve it. But obviously the big elephant in the room is that this guy is actually telekinetic now. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. I don't know if mom's going to find out. I don't know, man. But things are getting crazy. And as we saw also, Dimple's back. So I don't know how he came back or what. But I would also like to see what that's all about as well. Overall, if I had to rate the episode, you already know it's going to be a 10 out of 10. I love this show. It's really good. Um, Again, it's got comedy. It's got fighting. It's got everything I want. And the animation is just so crisp all the time. If you guys would rate it any differently and you want to see some more Mob Psycho reactions make sure you like rate comment subscribe right now and absolutely punch the hell out of that bell notification stay notified for some more mob psycho greatness and until then i will see you guys in the next episode peace